Hi friends. <laughs> Welcome back. I feel like Jason and I haven't been on a video to start our day in a long time. So like why? I had like a day off in forever, but you know I have. You I have, just, but for some reason it doesn't feel like I have. Um, and if my little flannel shirt isn't a sign of how cold and rainy and gross it is outside, I don't know what is. It so, it's, it's so depressing. 53, but it might go down from the garage. Yeah, that was in the garage. Anyway, we are headed to Costco and Office Depot. I don't know what else we have to do. Um, just for our regular weekly groceries, we are plum out of fruits and vegetables. Did want to just quickly chat about our trip. We haven't really like talked with Jason and me together. Uh, we tried to do that live and talk about it, but he was helping Chelsea. In case you are new here, we just got back from the Big Island. You can go and check out all of our videos. In fact, today's video is our souvenirs that we brought home, which is kind of fun. We got some good ones. Yeah, we got some good ones. Um, but the more we talk to people now that we've been back that have been to the Big Island, they're like, yeah, we understand why you had the experience you had. <laughs> well, they're all just like, yeah, it's not my favorite. Yeah. Oh, we probably won't go back there either. But then some friends are like, this it's my favorite island. So we don't ever want to like make it seem like we don't appreciate the trip that we got to go on or that we don't appreciate the beauty that the Big Island is. It's just very large and it's very tricky to get around. And most of the people that we know that have fully enjoyed it and it is their favorite, they don't go anywhere. They stay in their resort, they stay at the beach, they stay in their pool Which is area. what a lot of people do and that's yeah. fine. That's fine. And that's fine. That's not us. So we are trying to plan another trip for next year to be somewhere else, which is totally fine. But I also wanted to talk about, I was going to kind of give you guys a shout out, those of you who have supported our channel financially and sent us um, cards and appreciation through the mail, but also through YouTube, um, which you can do either one. Um, if you are so inclined, you do not have to. <laughs> <laughs> you are not obligated to do so we because it we just by cool watching, things. you're supporting us. So you are, everyone in your own way, if you're watching this, supported us being able to go to Hawaii. But we did want to just tell you a special thanks for specific people who were able to donate and give us a little bit Patreon? of extra. We don't have Patreon. Oh, okay. I wish we could come up with some reason to have Patreon. Anyway. Either way, that's I, another didn't, story. I didn't know what it was called, but uh Yeah. Super cool. thanks and sending us money and whatever, donating in your own way. Um we were able to go to OK Farms, which was right, right by Rainbow Falls, over on the Hilo side of the island. That was one excursion that I wanted to go on, and I kind of prepared ourselves to be able to go on before we went there, but it wasn't expensive. We usually expensive. don't do things like that right. uh, for the cost, but we were able to. We were able to because, because of you guys. guys. So a special thanks to um, a few of you. I think it was... And I should have written, got my list. I think it was Melissa and Michelle and, oh, I'm going to, I'll have to look at my list at home. I think. Oh, you let them down. You didn't call them out. I don't. Well, I think that's those bad. were the that's two main form, contributors. Um, Lydia and Nick, they contribute through gift cards to our kids, <laughs> which makes them very, very happy. Um, so that obviously didn't pay for a tour in Hawaii, but it did get used just so you know. We had a great time at OK Farms. Highly suggest it if you are going to the Big Island. It was cool. Because it was a really good experience to kind of learn about plants and the way they grow in Hawaii. And some of them are not native to Hawaii. So that was really interesting to learn. It so was just cool to see how things are done and what they do and why. Right. So, anywho, we are going to head to Costco and continue on with our day. Uh, just join us on this miserable, wet day. We're trying to out our Hawaii vibes somehow, but you guys look at this weather. Okay, this opened like 25 minutes ago. This is ridiculous. The entire parking lot is full. Costco is always busy. Okay, our first job at Costco is to pick my Mother's Day flowers. <laughs> I don't like flowers that die. Actually, I don't, I don't keep them alive very well, but we're gonna try these guys. They're called, what are they called? Digiplexus? 
and um, berry, berry canary. canary. They're very tropical, which I'm totally in for this year, um, but they can handle some shade. And my front porch gets shade and sun, so I'm hoping I can put one of these on each side of my little porch, and that'll be like really pretty, pretty green while they're not bloomed, but then like really pretty blooms up there. Okay, I'm not gonna actually do a haul video. So we're just gonna go over a few things here. We've got some snacks for the kids for school. I think I'm gonna save this for game night. It was on rebate and it tasted really good. We had one of the samples. This is just for regular dinners. We got vitamin waters, Coke Zero, milk. We've got a lot of veggies. We're in love with these peppers. So I got more of so those. Good. And Chelsea requested small cucumbers this time versus the large ones. And all the fruit and veggies. We're doing pretty good down here. Yeah. We also got uh, paper towels for the store, as well as toilet paper for the store. So we're kind of getting full. Okay, the only thing else we got after we talked to you guys last was some bread, and I think the yogurts and Parmesan cheese, which should be in here. Yep, we realized yesterday we're out of Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna go get these plants outside while it's raining and get them kind of soaked, and hopefully they'll do well. So, got it all packed in here. I want to go out there. We're filming this shit. Yes, we are filming this. Okay, we've got our cute little plants. We got a notice from our HOA. Sorry, UPS. Okay, so, so I killed the one right here. That's a weed. That's a weed. That's now a weed. Come up here. Okay. Come up here. He says, Get you guys, here. he says this is grass. This is grass. That is not grass. Yes, it is. That is weeds. That is called weeds. Dude, These are bushes. Grass. We planted, well, we didn't plant them. They came with this bushes. These are grass. bushes. This is grass. This is weed. This is grass. It came over. When did you plant, when did you plant grass? The seeds blow over from there. <laughs> the freaky grass. That is called weed. It's called grass. We didn't plant grass. No, you I can't mow this. Either. We didn't plant weeds either, but they grow. You're insane. Little, they blow in the wind. Ladies, is this weed or grass? That's freaking grass. That's a weed right there. That's grass. It is not grass. On a side note, our little roadies popped up. I love that we don't have to do anything to make these guys beautiful. They just grow naturally. All right, so I have these two little pots right here. Actually, I have a bunch of them. I don't think that these are gonna really grow and do very much. I might just transplant that one little one back up into here. And then I'm gonna take these guys and replant these plants here into those pots. But obviously I'm not gonna do it today because it's pouring rain but I think they'll do it better in these bigger pots and those will look really good right here up on the porch. All right, I've been working on my computers and stuff and I have a really fun video coming soon, but I need some more packages. It involves this and it involves this little space here at my desk. You guys know I spend a lot of time <laughs> here at my desk. And I got perusing office supplies the other day um, on for other business. Jason was having me order a bunch of ink and pens and things for the store. And so I started to add a few things that I needed here at the, at the house. And um, I got a little carried away at one in the morning. <laughs> But that's okay. Um, it all started with ink, which is why I can't really get the rest of my work done right now because I have like so many things I need to print out. But it is so hard to find ink these days. I don't know. We've already checked at Office Depot and one other store. I'm going to go and check at Target. I don't have much hope of it. We've ordered it from Amazon, but it's not coming until tomorrow. And I'm just frustrated because I need to like print off like registration forms and medical release forms for camps this summer and credit card statements. Jason needs to pay me for <laughs> the credit card bill, but he can't do it until he has a statement that he can look at. And so I'm kind of at a standstill. Here, can you open this up for me? Oh, that? So I'm gonna go and look for ink at Target, but I also need to pick up some uh, prescription. And I got it, sorry. Um, and then, uh, I'm just kind of at a standstill, so I'm watching more TV than I am <laughs> getting anything done. I finished Poldark. Now I don't know what to do, because all the shows I have on that list of mine require, like, extra, like, subscriptions. And... No. Nope. I, I know! What did I just say, Jace? He's freaking annoying sometimes. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> you didn't even say it out loud. How did you even hear it? He whispered I didn't, 
You didn't hear it. I heard you say it. he's annoying sometimes. I said he's freaking annoying sometimes. Yeah, well, I heard it. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to run off to Target. Are you going to come with me or are you going to take another nap? <laughs> <laughs> I think, actually. Can I have your card to buy the ink? Sure. Give me a break. Sure, we need it. We need it. Uh, he pr so just to clarify, he does a lot of business here at home. So the ink is business expense. He prints invoices and bills and whatnot for that business. So that is why the business pays for it. Anywho, let's go to Target. I could be truthful and say this is my first time into Target, but it's not. It's my second. <laughs> I got the ink. It did not say it had it online, so I was surprised to see it. But I also got something for Ashley. I have a tub at home. I need to make her a little feelings box. It's um, for positive and negative times when she needs to share her feelings. And I will have a little bin similar to that. Um, that she can come and use fidget toys and maybe even a snack or two to be able to share her feelings kind of what we're working on with therapy. Um, I was gonna have her like pick out the fidget things, but I don't have time and I need to instigate it because we had a, an episode this morning. <laughs> I need to like get it into play before we have another therapy session on Wednesday. So, which is a, a stress for her, even thinking about having a therapy, <laughs> talking about her feelings. So um, anyway, so I've already gotten all that and my medication and the ink. It's all in the car and Chelsea texted me the second I got to my car If you really love me, can you get me some gummy worms? I mean, I really need them I'm a sucker cuz I'm still here So, All right, so I've got some wrapped treats and I'm gonna put into the little feeling box And then I got her one to have right now or tonight and then Chelsea one so and that one That one might be for me Okay show you what I got before I get home I don't know if I should like unwrap everything or just show it to her I'm getting hot this is why I wore flip-flops into the store because it's like this you know in between it's not quite cold but it's still pouring rain every once in a while okay so let me just show you some of the th these things that she already has but I'm going to have them be just in the box like this she likes to collect these and use her other ones with it but I got two of them to just be in the box so that she, I don't know, I just want her to have them only in the box, but I got two because she likes to connect them. I believe you can connect them, but, oh yeah, she likes to connect them and make them long. This is a very good stress reliever for her. She loves to kind of just coil these and get her thoughts put together. I can see her like doing that. Okay, then she also has these building blocks. They're called um, Plus Plus. I think these are just fake ones, but I think they hopefully will work. Maybe not, but it'll be okay because these ones are just gonna be in the box and she likes to just kind of build them. Again, it's just something to kind of occupy her hands while she puts her thoughts together and then this one was a new one it's called a ball looper and it's a fidget marble spinner so you kind of have to like get the ball into the track and then you try and get it into a certain section I don't know it like I don't know exactly how it works but I think she'll enjoy to kind of just hanging out with that and then I got these stretch noodles you can kind of twist them together kind of like that or just pull on them tie them and not get out your angst I just know her I know she's a sensory kid and I just know that she's gonna want to twist and pull and do all that kind of stuff. Okay, so then the other thing I obviously I got was the Starburst. I'm just gonna put these into a Ziploc bag and she can only have one of those or a few of them as she's talking to me and using this little box. I'm just kind of hoping that we can kind of teach her that it's okay to share feelings, good and bad. Um, we haven't really talked about that. She doesn't really want me to talk about it much, especially when she's around. And so um, that's all, we'll kind of do that. I, if she allows me to talk about it with her as we put the box together, then we can and she can kind of show them to you. If not, then that's her prerogative. Um, we kind of do the same thing with therapy. Whatever she's willing to share with him, she's it's open for her. And then if she wants me to talk, I can. And then if she doesn't want me to say things, I can. Just learning how to share our feelings. I also remembered she needs to make cupcakes for an activity tomorrow night. We are having a Mother's Day tea party, which is gonna be really fun for her activity at church. The other leader is kind of taking the lead, which I'm very grateful for. But I need to make the cupcakes with Ashley and find some plastic cups. And I need to pick up uh, one of the little craft frames that we made. Oh, and I 
need to order the photo. I need to do it all today because I have scheduled appointments back to back to back to back all day tomorrow right up until this activity. So in fact, I need to figure out how to get that one more picture sent to Walgreens so I can pick that up tomorrow as I'm going in between all of these appointments. And I need to fit in going to get it, getting my blood work done because I have an appointment with my endocrinologist next week and she likes to have the blood work readily available for her to read. We're just gonna go and check on my thyroid, make sure my levels are still balanced. She no longer wants to check my um, blood sugar levels. She says that's open for her, my, my own doctor to do, not her. Don't know what she's a doctor for. If I get a little annoyed with doctors a lot these days, like, I'm already doing blood work. You've already like helped me get to this point with my blood sugar levels. Why not just continue? I don't quite understand, but let's go. All you want from me is gummy worms. Well, that one was Ashley's, but yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, but that's not for all one day. It's supposed to last a long time. How was school? You gonna rest? Mm -hmm. Your friend wanted to go, you to go to Target with her. You don't want to go? Who? Look at your group chat. Someone on there. Banana something. Oh. They all have nicknames on there. Who is that? Probably you. Oh, okay. Did you do all this by yourself? Yeah. You did? High five, kiddo. She made the batter, right? Yeah. And she's got her little muffin tins. You already put one in? Good job. Way to go, kiddo. These are for your tea party tomorrow night, right? Good job. She's gotta get another dozen out of this batter, but they might be little small cupcakes, right? <laughs> what are you doing? You run to lake. You're doing a rowboat? Yeah. <laughs> It's so funny to watch when people are doing this. Dad was doing one yesterday and he was getting too dizzy, wasn't he? He almost fell over. Yeah. We should see if we can catch you guys doing it. See if Dad will do it later. Catching me right now. Well, I can do the roller. So you're doing the exercise ones? Yeah, you can You can do like a lot of things on here. Good. Should we show them your cupcakes? Yeah. Okay. All right, here's Ashley's cupcakes. They could have been fuller. <laughs> <laughs> um, she thought that she needed to get an exactly 24 cupcakes. She didn't need to. We have more treats coming, but they are pretty cute. Little pink sprinkles with rainbow cake. We have them hidden up here so that the kids don't eat them. Meanwhile, Jason is over here making French toast, and we are using our new cinnamon from OK Farms. There you go. Again, sponsored, sponsored by you guys. <laughs> we got uh, two things of cinnamon from there, and I wish I had gotten more, but um, I might have my friend get me some <laughs> when she goes next month. But I'm excited to taste what it, well, see what it tastes like. And then we also have bacon. Ashley actually did a lot of this. She pulled all the bacon, put it on the pans, put it in the oven, helped Jason monitor it while it cooked, so. They were looking at it on the phone. Oh, holy crap. That's why I said go to the edge. So mom pushed you. <laughs> you can see what I'm seeing? Yeah, we can. This went black. Oh, it went black. <laughs> 